Good morning. Things are looking good outside here at the Wagner compound. Show you around. Be a nice day to spend it on the hammock, but that's not gonna happen. Over here behind me, I have the new patio. I have a list, a shopping list. I've gotta get into Lowe's this morning and pick up some supplies and some tools. I'm gonna be sealing this in the next couple days. That's a big project that I have coming up. I have to seal that before I can put the pergola into position here. Last night I cleared the patio off, put the fire pit there. It had to be cleared off to power wash it in preparation for sealing. And the pergola constructed, I need to rehab the westmost portion of the garden fence. And I need to power wash that fence, strip it, and refinish it. And get it ready to put a garden in soon. But we also have another important project that we're going to take up today. And I'll explain more about that as we go. So today's kind of like a tag along day with me. Okay, so we're about ready to go. But before we get on the road, I'll explain one of our projects. I have an ongoing project for a neighbor of mine. She's about 84 years old, great lady, but she doesn't have any immediate family in the area. She's a widow, she lives alone. Her property had become way overgrown with blackberries and I'll post a picture here. The blackberries were up to the roof line and that roof line is about 10 to 11 feet high they were so overgrown that she couldn't even get out of her back door now i was able to clear the east side of the house completely and the west side of the house completely the front's fine it's been mowed and cleared but the back of the house still has a wall of blackberries which i'm still working on but the urgent project for today is when we cut back those blackberries, we observed that someone had torn a hole into the door of her shed. And that door was just covered in corrugated aluminum. And so what we're gonna do today is head down to Lowe's. We're gonna pick up my supplies, but we're also gonna pick up a couple sheets of corrugated steel and apply that to the door. And she's also expressed that she has some plywood that we're going to secure to the inside of the frame and we'll see how that goes i haven't really looked at it closely i just saw that there's a big hole torn in the door got some phone cam pictures of it to show her let her know about it unfortunately we live in a world where people want to make other people's things their things by breaking in stealing destroying other people's property our mission is to fix it that's my role as the neighbor to an 80 plus year old widow. That's one of the benefits of being a retired guy. I'm in a position to assist my neighbors from time to time. That's what we're gonna do. This is a service project. I'm not getting paid for any of this. In fact, I'm investing some money into it. I'm gonna invest some YouTube channel money into it and just help a neighbor out. I'm not gonna disclose her name. We're not using any names. We're not gonna use any addresses, but that's what's happening. That's the mission for today. Thanks for coming along. Now let's get to the store. Just another quick project to point out. I put in these arborvitaes. I think that's how you say it. But I still need to put vegetative barrier down, e eliminate the rest of the vegetation that's there, put vegetative barrier down, and then we're gonna put bark chips down in that area. So plenty of projects and work to do, none of which do themselves. Hopefully we can get those done and get the place under control. So as you know, if you watch my channel, I'm about four months into retirement and retirement has presented me with the opportunity to get caught up on a long list of chores, projects, and tasks. And that's coming along, it's going well. I enjoy doing those things. It's also presented an opportunity for travel I got to go down to Sayulita, Mexico earlier this year and go to surf camp. If you didn't see that video, you can check the drop down card up above me here and click on that and go check out my Sayulita visit. There's an associated video there that is an overview of my trip to surf camp. I never surfed before in my life, but I wanted to give that a try. And now that I'm a retired guy, I had the time to go down there and spend five days 
in four or five days actually in surf instruction and I have a long way to go I I'm still learning I'm still a, a beginner but in addition to adventures and we're gonna be taking more of them and I'll be taking you along space a trips and other travel adventures retirement gives me the opportunity to do service and to reach out and help my neighbors, my community, and make a difference here locally, and just to be of assistance wherever I can. So today's project for my neighbor fits into that category. It is an ongoing project. I had previously cleared the west side of her home, and that's where her septic tank is. We cleared the top of the septic tank so that the access points were available on both sides of the tank and uh, provided her with a list of companies that can come out and clean and service her septic tank. So that project should be uh, either done or soon to be completed. And once it is completed, if the septic company doesn't cover the septic tank back up, we'll go ahead and get that taken care of. But it was overgrown by 10 feet of blackberries as well as trees and small shrubs i probably had to cut down 15 small trees just to get access because the blackberries were all entwined in the area just above the septic tank so let's get down to lowe's and see if we can pick up some supplies and tools for the projects that are in front of us this weekend so our trip this morning takes us through the city of live oak they have the best of the best donuts but we will not be stopping for donuts we don't do that any longer donuts are the enemy so we're gonna drive on past but I will recognize the quality of their donuts here in live oak See when you ride motorcycles you have to rev them up you come to an intersection just like that now you're in a car you don't rev up your car unless it's a muscle car which is awesome but motorcycles every time Here's the donut shop you need to know about. Like I said, I'm not gonna stop, but you should. Really quite good. They also make amazing breakfast sandwiches, which is probably about 2,000 calories per. And if you're gonna get a breakfast sandwich, you gotta get a donut to go with it, right? So the city of Live Oak, that's City Hall right over there. They just brought on board an interim city manager. The city council parted ways with its previous immediate past city manager. And so they have an interim city manager and uh, that is a great gig. That is a, that is the type of gig that I would be interested in. The problem is I just retired four months ago from the position of city administrator for the city of Gridley and under California public employees rule sets I'm not eligible I'm not lawfully able to take an interim position working as a retired annuitant for about six or seven months so I think June is the earliest that I would be lawfully eligible to take an interim gig. So, hey, if you're a city mayor or vice mayor out there in California somewhere and you're interested in a interim city manager, give me a call. But that's the type of role that you can parachute into and do three or th up to six months. I think it's 960 hours under CalPERS rules and uh, do three to six months and then roll out and go to Hawaii and go back to your life. And if it was in the North State, it would make it very easy for me to just parachute in, commute, and fulfill a role like that on an interim basis. I'm not interested in full-time work anymore. I'm enjoying retirement. So that's going on. But as far as interim city manager work is concerned, we'll just see what unfolds. It seems like there are frequently things coming available. And if something pops, in the North State in my region, I might just apply for it. We'll see what happens. Lowe's is like tools nirvana. I always feel like I have to buy more tools. Do you ever really have enough? No. Today I have to buy a measuring tape. They used to have like four or five, and now I have none. I don't know what became of them. They disappear. This is the one. Now I guess I just need four or five more of them. And this is our replacement door. Doesn't quite match the aluminum, but that'll hold. Sturdy.
So it is the next day. We finished our project yesterday and everything went well. We got door replaced for our neighbor friend. We got the double doors on the shed secured. So it's gonna be very, very difficult for someone to force their way in. It is secure. She's happy. I'm happy it went well. But we were able to do that. As you know, my channel is now monetized. And so I'm making some income from the channel. I was able to take some of those channel dollars and purchase the supplies for yesterday's project. And I'm gonna continue doing that from time to time and using the YouTube dollars to benefit and bless people around me wherever I can. But the folks that I really need to thank are you. Because without viewers, without you, none of this would be possible. And so I really appreciate your partnership. This is just a day in my retired life, not an adventure, just a service project here in the community, trying to make a difference. Together we can do that sort of thing more frequently. I appreciate your partnership. None of this would be possible without you viewing and subscribing to this channel. So if you like this kind of content that I make, whether it's travel, adventure, or discussions and just conversation about my retired life and the things that I'm doing. I'd appreciate it if you take a moment to subscribe and hit the like button so that you get notifications every time I upload a new video. I'm glad that you're here. I'm grateful for your partnership and for your support. And I'll see you in the next video.